Hi everybody, welcome to the Messy Cook by Dale. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks again for all your support and all your recipe ideas and your comments. I really like it and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Today we're doing something that I'm really excited about. Uh, one of my most favorite dishes in the whole wide world, French dishes, is Croque Monsieur. I love it. I've Every time we go to a French restaurant, I order it. Um, I've made it several times, but we're going to do it with a little twist today. We're making it today uh, the original way that it was made back in um, the early 1900s. Um, the story goes that a couple of waiters in a bistro in Paris were hungry at lunchtime and they went behind the counter and made themselves their own sandwich. And it was a ham and cheese sandwich, but they threw it in a pan and they developed this really great sandwich. Uh, the, uh, it became on the menu. And uh, the interesting part was um, back then, bechamel sauce was nowhere in the equation at all. It was simply a uh, ham and cheese grilled sandwich. Uh, only later, several years, very modern times, did they decide to, add, to bring it up a notch and probably charge more for it at lunchtime if they made a bechamel sauce to go with it. And what they've done is uh, they they take an artisan piece of bread or a couple of pieces of bread, they do the ham and cheese, they put the bechamel sauce on top, it goes into the oven, then it goes under the grill and everything. And logistically, it wasn't able, I, weren't, I wasn't able to do that today. But I did research and found out that there's a very easy way to do it and the way it used to be done. I am going to include the bechamel sauce on the side because I love croque monsieur with bechamel sauce. And they say that the, um, the bechamel sauce um, makes the croque monsieur a little bit soggy. And it might be true. I love it still just the same. But um, I mean, they wanted to keep it fresh and they wanted to keep it the way it was back then, which is crispy, which is Croc means what in French? French. Crunchy. So they want to keep it crunch crunchy and this is what does it. So we're going to start with our basic bechamel sauce. We've done it before many times. We're going to do it again. So it's equal parts fat to equal parts uh, flour. So it's a quarter of a cup of... Uh, is that a quarter of a cup or half a cup? Quarter. Okay. Quarter of a cup of... I'm going to bring it down a lot. Uh, flour and a quarter of a cup of butter. And we're going to um, now cook the flour out like usual. Now, you know, again, I've told you this before, but these bechamel sauce, you can put cheese in it and put it on vegetables. Uh, you can do a mac and cheese with it. You can put it on fish and everything. But it is a very classic and the basis of so much French cooking. All right, so we're going to slowly... Uh, cook the flour taste out of this. This bechamel sauce is a little bit different than usual because I'm going to be adding a little bit of Dijon mustard in it and uh, some grated um, nutmeg, the real stuff, just to bring it up a notch. All right. Whoops. Yikes. Okay. So, you know, um, I have made, like I said, I've made this several times for Dan and we love it, no? It's so good. Um, but this is something different and this is, you know, um, the way they used to do it. So why not? We'll try it this way. All right. Now I'm going to add um, a cup and a half of whole milk. Now we've done it with cream. You don't have to use the full cream or the half and half. This is milk, so it's not, well, it's, it's, it's fatty but it's not nearly as fat. All right, so we're gonna, so I, what I did is I nuked this for about uh, 45 seconds just to get the coldness off of it and turn this up a bit. Just wanna make sure that's cooked out. And you know, you use uh, ham, cooked ham, deli ham, but get a good quality ham, you know. Um, I get it from the deli department uh, at the grocery store and asked them to cut me a few slices and that's what they did here. So I know it's, it's, it's pretty fresh. Okay, let's do this. Add the milk. Oops. There we go. Now it's gonna start. Oh, I'm in a mess. Oh my God. 
Anyway, okay, so it's going to start to thicken up as usual. And there it goes. So I'm going to put the, take this down really low. So there's your bechamel sauce. Now we're going to add a teeny bit of freshly grated uh, nutmeg right in there just to give it that little bit of special taste and we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there freshly grated of course there we have it and this is off now that's a nice bechamel sauce and um, some um, what's this? Dijon. Just a little bit. Come so. Okay. There we go. There it is. A classic bechamel. You can make it a little bit runnier if you want by put adding a little bit more milk. I'm going to give this a taste. Perfect. Perfect mundo. Okay, that goes here. Now, to do the sandwiches, cast iron pot, pan. It's the best to conduct heat. If you can invest in a, um, a good um, cast iron pan, it'll be worth it because you can use it for so many recipes. All right, so for the sandwiches, sandwich bread nothing fancy although I get this at Premier Masson it's white sandwich bread um, but and they end up uh, slicing it for me I just want to get a better quality than the grocery store bread but you can use a grocery store bread of course all right so there we have it two slices of bread we're going to put some melted butter on two sides of these or on both of these um, breads just like that okay next we are going to turn it over like that we're going to put a bit of Dijon mustard on either bread on both breads just a little they say that you should be using a, a the bread should be a little bit stale you know but not too stale just so that it doesn't fall apart all right, there you go. Now you start building. We've got a half a cup of Gruyere and Emmental. You can have cheddar. You can opt it up for cheddar. You can opt it up for Swiss. Um, I like this. There's other kinds of cheese. Whatever cheese you like, use it. Okay, so this goes there. The cheese is what holds it all together. It's the glue. A couple of slices of ham. Some more cheese here. If you buy the sliced cheese, that's fine. This goes here. And now in the pan. Now, we're gonna put this on medium heat. And you're going to let it cook there four minutes per side. Okay. Is that mine or yours? Uh, it can be yours, absolutely. Now you can you can use this you can eat this with a nice salad and traditionally in France or in a French restaurant they'll give you a nice green salad with a nice vinaigrette French fries or Belgium fries whatever um, we're having it with French fries tonight uh, and then we're going to take the bechamel sauce we're going to put it into a little uh, container which I have here and uh, we're going to do dipping we're going to dip it. Let me get this. I'll do this now. Like this. Take a bit of this and put it in here. It could probably be a little bit um, runnier. If I could get to the fridge, I would get some more milk, but that's fine. This is good for now. Like that. back over here I mean this is really easy again this is a great meal you can have during the week you can make it on the weekends whatever when people come over it's fun uh, and it's so so
so delicious. Whoops. Let me see how this is doing. Oh, it's doing good. So you want to really have it on medium low because you want it to cook. You want the um, the cheese to melt really well. And uh, that's all there is to it. And you have a nice little meal for yourself. So we went, it, like I said, uh, we went to Paris a few years ago. And when I saw this on the menu, the first morning, I got it in the morning too. I was so happy and it would just set my, my whole trip off. I love this croque monsieur it's, and you know they there's variations of it you can do uh croque mademoiselle is it yeah croque mademoiselle and that's where they put an egg on top um a fried egg you know um that makes it the mademoiselle but i don't like that one as much okay we'll turn this hasn't quite been four minutes but it's getting there i mean this is a simple ham and cheese sandwich i mean that's all it is and Leave it to the French, you know, to make it sound so much more elegant. Croque monsieur. Ham and cheese. But lovely. So I hope you guys are all doing well. We're still in this pandemic mo mess, but um, I'm hopeful and I have a lot of, uh, I'm encouraged. So hopefully we'll get through it all very quickly and move on with our lives. That's what's really important. Stay busy, cook, paint, do whatever it is you like to do. Do you have a plate? I do have a plate. <laughs> I haven't, this time I, I double checked and triple checked. Did I do anything? Yeah. So yes, Dan, I guess you'll have this one and then I'll uh, make another one for myself. I could do that on the go actually maybe i'll do that right now so let's do the butter melted butter now what they have done in the olden days is they would to fancy it up a little bit is they would cut the crust off and then do the sandwich that way and then i've even heard and i saw a picture actually that they used to to make it fancier again they would t uh, cut the crust off and then they would tie a piece of butcher twine around it so and with a bow and they would bring it to the table like that something fancy and so the patron would have to uh, undo the bow and eat the sandwich but you know it's a ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> kills me okay almost there yeah i would say almost there yes okay let me put this one in So it's, it's a slower process um, because you, you want the cheeses to melt for sure. But, you know, we can also, what we can do, and I've seen this done too, is take a piece of foil and just lay it on top. You don't want to steam them, but you want to keep the, uh, the heat in there. So you can just put a piece of foil like that so that air can flow through it so that uh, it will heat up or get melted faster. So I hope you guys are keeping busy um, and staying safe. You know, it's all we can do. We, we know the routine by now. Some great shows on Netflix and on um, um, Crave. Crave and Prime. Prime. Fantastic shows. So, um, yeah. Maybe CBC Gem, fantastic. So I'm I'm right now in the middle, believe it or not, of watching Golden Girls. I I'm telling you, it is so fantastic. I had, well, of course, I hadn't seen it since it went off the air, like years and years ago, and I forgot how funny it was. The, the writers were fantastic. Really good show. So I'm almost finished that. I finished uh, Shit's Creek. Um, Jeez, saw them all. Can't wait for the crown to come back. Really looking forward to that. Okay, we got one done. All right, let me just wipe my hands and show you the presentation. So you take your, your sandwich and you cut it into soldiers for easy dipping. 
Oh yeah. So about what one inch soldiers, I guess, three quarters of an inch soldiers. Oops, like that. Comes. Uh, you've got your bechamel on the side, and we're going to give it a try. me back oh that's really good mm. so there you have it F no fuss easy peasy cock monsieur put a little bit more uh, milk in the um, bechamel make it a little bit creamier i will do that when we're off air so thanks for hanging out with me today really appreciate it it was fun i love sharing these recipes with you i hope you try them uh, and if you do let me know in the comments below um, stay safe, do what you got to do. And, uh, most of all, if you like, please, uh, give me a thumbs up and share and, um, subscribe. Really appreciate that. And, uh, of course, forget the mess. Not much mess today. Got off easy, Dan. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Mmm.